Hello all of you. Now we will prepare balance sheet. It is also asking question to prepare the balance sheet of KG Limited after bonus issue of the shares. So here today only we have discussed that when we prepare new balance sheet which is after the buyback or here bonus shares also given in question that rate means after the after all adjustment. So we have passed the general entries of all the adjustment that is for buyback of shares and issue of bonus shares. Now what we will do we will prepare a balance sheet after this. So when we prepare balance sheet remember that the balance sheet which is given in question that is before the buyback of shares. So asset has debit balance if to those items we have debited then we will add it. Debit debit add and the add whatever figures come that we will write it down in new balance sheet. If there is a debit balance, if you have credited, then debit credit minus, then whatever figure come, that will write it down in new balance. Now for liabilities, credit balance, if you have credited, credit credit plus, we will write it down in ad balance sheet, new balance sheet. Liabilities, credit balance, if you have debited it, so credit debit less, then we will uh, figure, the resultant figure will write it down in new balance sheet. So here, they were also asked to prepare the balance sheet. So before we prepare the balance sheet, we first we have to draw the format. So write it down and we will prepare format as per companies like schedule 3. So you don't have to worry about the format of schedule 3. Next chapter there is financial statement of company where we will discuss in detail the schedule 3. But just right now you just have to know the little bit that you do in the question it is given that you have to know this is liability side and this is asset side. So first we write down shareholders fund under shareholders fund there is share capital reserve and surplus then non current liabilities long term borrowing then current liabilities okay items come under current liability we will write it down here. Then non current asset under non current asset PP non current investment then current asset okay this is asset side and this is liability side. So write down there the part just part number two second okay so balance sheet of balance sheet of kg limited after buyback and issue of bonus shares an issue of bonus share. Remember rupees in rupees in lakhs. Rupees in lakhs. Now draw this for it will not take more than one page but okay draw this for one page. Even I think it will not take one page also but it's okay. Draw this for one page. draw this for one page okay so particulars this note number and amount Come on. what is this note so note is the detail detail of that particular item okay so one by one first we will write it down here equity and liabilities equity and liabilities here you will write it down shareholders fund shareholders fund second share capital second reserve and surplus reserve and surplus then Second point, non-current liabilities, non-current liabilities, under non-current liabilities item will come long-term borrowings. So we will prepare note on share capital, reserve and surplus and long-term. What is note? The detail of that items. Okay. Then third, current liabilities. current current liabilities under current give the space for two lines and then give the space for two lines and then do total here okay then write down assets then write down assets
assets so write down here property first write down non current asset non current asset under non current asset there is a property plant and equipment and property plant and equipment belongs to tangible asset for intangible separate heading property plant and equipment property plant and equipment second item here intangibles third is non current investment non current investment non current investment okay Now write down here then current asset the item which is given in current asset is you can write it down that is inventory trade receivable cash and cash equivalent so write down here current asset a b c inventories trade receivable trade receivable cash and cash equivalent here you can do the total okay for current liability you can also write current liability they have given item trade payable and other current liability so in under current liability you can write it down trade payable trade payable and other current liabilities other current liabilities so trade payable and other current liabilities okay so they have also given in they have given question note number for pp so we can also prepare here notes to account on property plan and equipment so all of you have written this okay this is a format of balance sheet okay as per schedule 3 all of you okay now write down after this all of you have write down after this rupees in level i guess rupees write down after this notes to account so here notes to accounts notes to account number one notes to account number one okay notes to account number one that is share capital that is share capital now one by one one by one one by one. Let's start from here. How much we have here? How much we have here? Share capital will go to note number one. It is thousand two hundred. Go to note number one. So here note number one authorized issued and subscribed capital equity share capital fully paid up shares of rupees ten each. So total number of share is thousand two hundred and share of rupees ten each. It means one twenty lakh shares you have. The so first type in Calci. 1200 type 1200 1200 1200 so liability has credit balance liability has credit balance so if liability has credit balance liability has credit balance so here we have passed general entries here we have passed general entries you can see here that what we have done for this share capital so here first entry no share capital second entry no share capital you can see here in third entry we have debited by rupees 600 yes so liability has credit balance shares has credit balance now we are debiting here we are debiting here so what should we do we should deduct it so minus 300 so we are at 900 we are at 900 so 1200 minus 300 we are at 900 now here share capital no share capital no share capital no yeah here you have credited by 225 so plus 225 so that we have credited now the so capital for liability side equity and capital equity and liability all is credit balance the capital is credit balance so here you have credited credit credit plus so you will add 225 so 900 plus 225 now we are at 1125 it is the amount and share of rupees 10 each divided by 10 that is 1 lakh 12,000.5 so sorry 112 point lakhs share so that is so 112.5 lakh shares of rupees tiny so write down here in note number one 
in note number one authorized issued and subscribed capital and subscribed capital and subscribed capital 112.5 lakh shares lakh shares fully paid up fully paid up shares of rupees of rupees 10 ish of rupees 10 -ish. so how much it is 1125 how we have calculated is 112.5 lakh shares total amount of share capital is 1125 divided by share is of, share is of rupees 10 ish divided by 10 that's come 112.5 lakh shares of rupees 10 ish okay now remember one thing as per schedule 3 as per schedule 3 any share that we have issued other than cash consideration any shares that we have issued other than cash consideration that we have to mention here so here you can see that we have issued bonus shares how many bonus shares we have issued that of uh, bonus shares here 22.5 lakh shares we have issued other than cash consideration what do you mean by other than cash consideration that we have issued shares but we have not received any amount for it so we have issued 22.5 lakh shares so here you will write it down here you will write it down out of the above, out of the above, above, 22.5 lakh shares, 5 lakh shares issued as bonus shares, as bonus shares, as bonus shares. okay as bonus shares so as per schedule 3 we have to mention it okay schedule 3 talks about the format of financial statement okay that is the part of next chapter so 1125 so write it down write it down so in balance sheet 1125 1125 the next notes to account is reserve and surplus okay so write down next notes to account remember one thing i will write it down slowly but remember one thing over the period, you have to increase your speed. Why it is important to increase the speed when you write? Because in examination, you have three hours. You don't have six hours. In examination, you have three hours. And it is very important you have to increase the speed. Because sometimes, not sometimes, you know, so many times it happens that the student know the paper. But because of their speed, they are not able to complete the paper within three hours. So, you have to increase the speed. Okay. So, write down next, reserve and surplus. Reserve and surplus. Reserve and surplus. So write down here reserve and surplus. Okay. Give the heading reserve and surplus. Now, how much reserve and surplus? Note number two. The total is 810. But the detail is given in note number two reserve and surplus. The first is security premium account. So type 175. Type in your calcy 175. In your general entry. So first write down here security is premium. Securities premium. Okay, securities premium. How much we have? 175. We'll do the adjustment. Don't worry. 175 we have. So here in general entry, in first entry we have not no security premium. Second, third, no. Here you have debited security premium by rupees 150. So securities premium is reserve and surplus. It has credit balance. Now we are debiting here. So, credit, it has credit balance we are debiting here. So, we have to deduct it. So, write down here, write down here, less utilized, utilized to adjust premium on buyback. Less utilized to adjust premium on buyback. So, 175 it is. Now, we are utilized. How much we have utilized? 150. Okay. 150. After this, whether we have utilized securities premium account anywhere? Okay. No, there is no securities premium. Okay. So, we, you will, we will write it down in outer column. 
write it down in outer column how much balance we have in securities premium we have balance of rupees 25 the second given in balance sheet is after securities premium we have general reserve 265 so write down general reserve general reserve how much balance we have we have 265 general reserve how much balance we have 265 so you can see here in general entry when we have passed we have debited to general reserve account by rupees 265 so we have debited reserve has credit balance we have debited it so we will deduct it 265 so here write it down less transferred to transferred to capital why we utilize this 265 to transfer to crr account transfer to capital redemption reserve 265 so after this utilization we don't have any balance in crr account we don't uh, sorry not in crr sorry in general reserve account okay transfer to capital redemption reserve now after this general reserve next item is capital redemption reserve so we have balance of 200 so first write down here capital redemption capital redemption reserve capital redemption reserve how much balance we have in capital redemption reserve we have capital redemption reserve we have balance 200 200 and in general entry we have we have credited a crr account by rupees 300 and then we have debited by rupees 225 so reserve has credit balance so when we have credited it we will add it and we'll debit it we'll deduct it so we'll credit 300 and we'll debit it 225 so credit add debit deduct so write down here write down here add transfer on buyback transfer on buyback of shares transfer on buyback of shares how much it is 300 less utilized for utilized for bonus shares how much you utilize for bonus shares 225 so in outer column it will come 500 minus 225 it will come 275 275 okay now after general reserve after general reserve we have uh, sorry not after capital redemption is we have this pnl account that is 170 so write down here profit and loss account profit and loss account how much it is 170 profit and loss account how much it is it is 170 now when we have passed general entry we have credited here penal account by rupees 1 so credit balance it has, it has and we have credited it we will add 1 and then here we have utilized at the time we have transferred to CR 35 so we have debited by 35 so we will deduct 35 so write it down here add profit on sale of investment profit on sale of investment how much one less transferred to capital redemption reserve so how much you have transferred 35 now so data so 170 plus 1 minus 35 that's come 136 now do the total of reserve and surplus 25 plus 275 plus 136 that's come 436 that's come 436 so write down this 436 in balance sheet 436 write down in balance sheet so here 436 436 write down in balance sheet okay now after this come to balance sheet note number three that is long term borrowing 750 long term borrowing is debenture so there is no change in debenture as we have in general entry 
we have not debited to this debenture or credited. So there is no change here. So write as it is, write down as it is, note number 3. Long term borrowing, long term borrowings, long term borrowings, 12% debentures, 12% debentures, 750. Okay, so how much is the long term borrowing is? 12% debentures, 750. So write down it in balance sheet, 750. Write down it in balance sheet, 750. So long term borrowing is 750. Okay, how much? 750. Okay. <clears throat> 750 it is. Okay. Done. Now here, after this, next item is trade payable. So there is no change in trade payable. 745 as it is. There is no change in other current liability because we have not debited or credited when we have passed journal entry. So write down as it is in balance sheet trade payable. How much it is trade payable is 740, 745. So 745 trade payable and then other current liability is 195. Other current liability is 195. Okay. Now come to asset side. Come to asset side. First is, now if you go to balance sheet, note number 4, property, plant and equipment 2026. But go to balance sheet here. There is no change in this PP also. But they have prepared the notes to account, we will also prepare. Land and building 1800, plant and machinery 226. So prepare notes to account number 4. Notes to account number 4. Property, plant and equipment. Property, plant and equipment. Property, plant and equipment. So, land and building. Land and building. How much it is? 1800. And plant and machinery 226. Plant and machinery plant and machinery 226 so total here is 2026 net carrying amount means net carrying amount means book value net carrying amount means uh, it is not gross it is after the adjustment of depreciation or that's why they are using net but so, okay total is 226 so write down here net carrying amount carrying means book value carrying amount. That is 2026. So write it down in balance sheet 220, uh, 2026. 2026. There is no intangible asset here in question. Non-current investment we have here. That is a 74. So type 74. But when you have passed general entry here, you have credited to bank by uh, sorry into investment by 20, 74 minus 74. Zero because we have, we have sold the investment. So here it will come dash zero. Okay. So no non-current investment. Now inventories we have 600 as it is. There is no change in inventories. So, so 600. Then we have trade receivable. No change in trade receivable. 260. There is so much of change in cash equivalent. 740 it is. So type 740. 740. Then in general entry what we have done. Here we have debited by 75. So, plus 75, plus 75 and then, and then we have paid 450. So, minus 450. So just one minute, how much? 700 plus 740 it was, plus 75, minus 450. So, the balance come 365. How we have calculated this 365? The balance of cash which is given in question, the balance of cash which is given in question, 740. On sale of investment we receive 75, then we have paid on buyback 450. 750, 740 plus 75 minus 450. How much it is 365? So write it down here, 365. Write it down 365. Now do the total here. 1125 plus 436 plus 750 plus 745 plus 195. 3251. 
थ्री टू फाइव वन टू जीरो टू सिक्स प्लस सिक्स हंड्रेड प्लस टू सिक्सटी प्लस थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव थ्री टू फाइव टेन थ्री टू फाइव टेन बैलेंस शीट ओके नाउ आफ्टर पासिंग ऑल दी आफ्टर प्रिविंग दैलेंस यू कैन क्रॉस चेक इट विद ऑल द आइटम्स कवर इन यस This take 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 here you can see we have debited yes four fifty but you have credited here it is cancelled then you have debited this premium one fifty then you have credited here and we have all all the items you have got here bonus to share you have credited then you have debited okay so so question number one and then so we have passed general entry here in this question they ask you to uh, they have done the buyback out of profit how we can say that they have done buyback out of profit because it is not mentioned in the question that they have issued shares in the market when it is not mentioned that they have issued shares in the market it means that they have done out of profit so we have then we have to say only it is out of fresh issue of share when it is specifically mentioned in question otherwise we will always say that it is out of profit when it is out of profit we have transfer to which account we have transfer to crr account okay now we will come to question number 2 and today i will give you homework also so daily you have to do homework and you have to meet it two notebook one is for the class question and second one is for the practice question and the solution of practice question you will get you will get, uh, when you have purchased these uh, advanced accounting lectures so the google drive link comes to the in that google drive link there is a folder for the practice question solution so you can find the solution there but don't see the solution first first you have to solve i will give you homework today first you have to solve that practice question and then check it so you can find it out where you are doing mistakes so next time you will not do that mistake again okay now come to question number 2 it was asked in november 2019 question number 2 okay x limited furnished the following summarized balance sheet as at 31st of march 2018 share capital शेयर कैपिटल इक्विटी शेयर कैपिटल ऑफ रुपीज ट्वेंटी इच फुल्ली पेड अप फिफ्टी लैक्स टेन थाउजेंड टेन परसेंट प्रेफरेंस शेयर ऑफ रुपीज हंड्रेड इच फुल्ली पेड अप टेन लैक्स ओके रिजर्व एंड सरप्लस एफ कैपिटल रिजर्व वन लैख सिक्योरिटीज प्रीमियम ट्वेल्व लैक्स रेवेन्यू रिजर्व फाइव लैख प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट ट्वेंटी लैख डिविडेंड इक्विलाइजेशन फंड फाइव लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड टोटल ऑफ रिजर्व एंड सर surplus 43 lakh 50000 non current liabilities non current liabilities mean long term liabilities 12% debentures 12 lakh 50000 current liability and provision 5 lakhs 50000 now asset side property plant and equipment 1 crore 75 lakhs current assets investment 3 lakhs inventory 2 lakhs cash and bank 15 lakh 75000 Total of current asset is total of current asset is twenty lakh seventy five thousand. Now shareholders adopted the resolution on the of the above mentioned balance sheet to buy back twenty five percent twenty five percent of the paid up capital. It was decided to offer price offer a price of twenty percent over market price. The prevailing market value of the company's share is rupees thirty per share. Okay. Now understand this point. What happened here? They want to do the buyback. How much they want to do buyback? Twenty-five percent of the paid-up capital. How much capital they have? And whenever they say buyback, they are talking about equity share capital. They are talking about equity share capital. How much equity shares they have? The amount of equity share capital is rupees fifty lakhs. The amount of equity share capital is rupees fifty lakhs. How much bal? How much? Fifty lakhs is total amount of capital, and the share is of rupees twenty each. So share is of rupees twenty. The so, total capital is fifty lakh. Shares is of rupees twenty. So divided by twenty, that's come two lakh fifty thousand shares. So how many shares they have? Equity shares. They have two lakh fifty thousand equity shares. They have. They want to do the buyback now. So they are doing buyback. How much buyback they are doing? they are doing 25% so they have they have 2 lakh 50000 shares how many shares they have 2 lakh 50000 shares out of that 
they want to do buyback of 25%. It means that 2,50,000 multiplied by 25%, that's come 62,500 shares. How much that's come? That's come 62,500 shares. Okay. And at what price they are doing buyback? So it is mentioned here that it was decided to offer a price of 20% over the market price. Okay. When they are doing the buyback, they are offering more than 20% more than the market price. So, the prevailing market value of the company's share is rupees 30 per share. Now, understand this point. So, they, it is mentioned that they want to offer 20% over the market price. And what is the market price? Market price is rupees 30 per share. What does it mean when we will do the buyback? When we will do the buyback, we will give them 20% over the market price. If market price is rupees 30 plus 20%, that will come 30 plus 20 percent that will come rupees 36 36 so how much we are offering to equity shareholder for buyback we are offering them rupees 36 and remember that there is a difference in market price and face value the face value of share is rupees 20 how much is the face value of share face value of share is rupees 20 and we are doing buyback at what price we are doing buyback we are doing buyback at rupees 36 so remember that don't tell me sir if the market price is rupees 30 we are offering them 36 it means rupees 6 we are giving them premium on buyback no we are not giving them rupees 6 premium on buyback we are giving them rupees 16 on premium on buyback what do you mean by premium on buyback whatever amount we are paying over the face value of share not the market price when we'll calculate premium on buyback that is what is the excess amount we are paying over the face value of share and the face value of share is rupees 20 the market price is 30 and we are giving 20 percent more than the market price the total come 36 if face value if face value is rupees how much 20 Face value is rupees 20. How much is premium on buyback? How much is premium on buyback? Premium on buyback is rupees 16. How much is premium on buyback is rupees 16. So total is 36. Total is 36. Face value of share is 20 only. And we are giving them 36. It means rupees 16 represent premium on buyback. So don't compare when we calculate premium on buyback, don't compare it with market price, compare it with face value. The face value is of rupees 20 and we are offering 36. So that 16 rupees axis represent premium on buyback. Now it is mentioned in point number two to finance the buyback, to finance the buyback of, of shares, company issue 3014% debenture of rupees 100 each at a premium of 20 percent what does it mean it means they are issuing 3000 debenture in the market of rupees 100 they are issuing a 20 percent premium so they are issuing the debenture in the market at 20 percent premium remember that there is no restriction on issue of debenture we can to, there is no restriction on the arrangement of fund we can arrange the fund by issue of debenture we can arrange the fund by issue of shares we can arrange the fund by sale of investment. We can arrange the fund by the sale of fixed. We can arrange, we can arrange the fund by taking loan from back. We can arrange fund from anywhere. But the condition of section 68 with whatever amount you have reduced the capital at the time of buyback, the same amount or more it can be, the same amount, there should be increase in capital. That is by issue of shares. If we are not increasing the capital by issue of share, in that case, we have to, we will say that it is out of profit. If it is out of profit, then we have to transfer the face value of buyback of share to CRR account. So, sometime it may happen that we are doing buyback out of fresh issue of shares. We are doing buyback out of profit. And sometime it may happen that it is a combination of both. Sometime it is happen that it is a combination of both by issue of shares 
and by uh, by issue of shares and out of profit it may be combination of both so we will discuss here in this question because question number 2 is a combination of both we are doing buy by by issue of shares and buy out of profit so how i come to know that it is combination of both don't worry we'll discuss about it now they are issuing shares 2500 share uh, 10% preferential offer is 100 each so they are also issuing they are also issuing preferences in the market no understand this point when you issue debenture first of all when you do buy back so you are doing buy back of 62500 share you know that we record capital always at face value so what happen here what happen we are doing buy back we are doing buy back at the time of buy back i am talking about face value so we are doing buy back of 62500 share and the face value i know that we are doing buy back at rupees 36 i am talking about face value so what is the face value of share face value of share is rupees 20 so there will be 62500 multiply by 20 that's come 12 lakh 50000 12 lakh 50000 so 12 lakh 50000 the capital will decrease by rupees 12 lakh 50 thousand when, when you do buy back the capital will reduce by face value because we record capital at face value so here there is a decrease in capital 62 lakh 50 thousand multiply by 20 that's come 12 lakh 50 thousand agree yes now we are issuing shares in the market how many shares we are issuing 2500 preferential offer rupees 100 each so we are issuing shares in the market the capital will increase 2500 multiply by 100 that's come 2 lakh 50000 that's come 2 lakh 50000 it means that at the time of buyback there is decrease in capital i'm right decrease in capital at the time of issue of shares there is increase in capital there is increase in capital so it means the capital will decrease by rupees 12 lakh 50000 and capital will increase by 2 lakh 50000 the capital will decrease by 12 lakh 50000 and capital will increase by 2 lakh 50000 it means what about the remaining 10 lakhs so capital will decrease by 12 lakh 50000 and capital will increase at the time of buyback capital will decrease by 12 lakh 50000 but at the time of issue of shares the capital will increase by 2 lakh 50000 so decrease 12 lakh 50000 increase how much 2 lakh 50000 so there is a difference of rupees 12 lakh so sorry there is difference of rupees 10 lakh that 10 lakh is out of fresh uh, or that is that 10 lakh is out of profit because we are reducing the capital by rupees 12 lakh 50000 and we are increasing the capital on issue of preferences by rupees 2 lakh 50 what about the difference of rupees 10 lakh that means that 10 lakh is out of profit out of profit so whenever i say decrease in capital increase in capital remember that i am talking about only face value of share remember that i am talking about only face value of shares so your capital is decreased by rupees 12 lakh 50000 and capital is increased by rupees 2 lakh 50000 so what about the difference of rupees 10 lakh so section 68 of company that says that anything if you are not if you are not increasing the capital uh, by issue of shares in that case we will say it is out of profit and that much amount we should transfer to capital redemption reserve account that much amount we should transfer to which account capital redemption reserve account so this is out of profit it means we will transfer to crr account so don't you think that it is a combination of both because some part we are doing out of issue of shares and some part we are doing out of profit you don't have to worry we will make a working note on it we will make a working note on it okay so now uh, some of you may think no sir we have also issued the debenture no debenture we may issue the debenture to arrange the fund there is no restriction on it but the it is not a replacement of capital with capital issue of debenture is not issue of capital Is, issue of debenture is not issue of shares so issue of debenture is a different thing the condition of section 68 replacement of capital should be capital okay now 
say uh, obviously we will pass journal entry for issue of debenture no problem in it but it is not a replacement of capital with capital now they sell investment worth rupees 1 lakh for rupees 1 lakh 50 thousand if you see in balance sheet you can see here that that <clears throat> here the investment is of rupees how much investment is of rupees 3 lakh rupees 3 lakhs and you can see here the investment written where it is written in current in asset Remember, there are two types of investment that is covered by accounting standard 12 which we'll discuss in accounting standard 12 that not 12 sorry accounting standard 30 not 12 13 okay so there are two types of investment current investment and non-current investment so current investment just for your knowledge i'm saying here current investment means investment means the management is intended to sell that investment within 12 months from the date of its acquisition if the management is intended to sell to sell that investment within 12 months from the date of its acquisition we call it current investment any any investment which is not current investment that will be non-current investment so here you can see it is mentioned in current investment no problem we will write it down in current investment but detailed discussion about the investment types and all that is covered by accounting standard 12 sorry not 12 13 accounting standard 13 we will discuss there in accounting standard 13 okay anyways this investment is current asset here there is 3 lakhs so here the investment is of rupees 3 lakh investment is of rupees 3 lakh so here what happened we are going to sell the investment is the investment total investment which is given in balance sheet is of rupees 3 lakh so is of rupees 3 lakh so out of 3 lakh we are selling the investment of rupees 1 lakh at rupees 1 lakh 50 thousand understand the difference here total investment is of rupees 3 lakh which is given in balance sheet out of 3 lakh we are selling the investment of rupees 1 lakh at rupees 1 lakh 50 thousand so there will be a profit of rupees 50 thousand there will be profit of rupees 50 thousand okay because we are selling the investment of rupees not of rupees 3 lakh at 1 lakh 50 we are selling investment of rupees 1 lakh at rupees 1 lakh 50 thousand so there will be a profit of rupees how much 50 thousand maintain a balance of rupees 2 lakh in revenue reserve it is mentioned in question that we have to maintain a balance of rupees how much to maintain a balance of rupees how much 2 lakh in revenue reserve so we have to maintain a balance of rupees 2 lakh where in revenue reserve what does it mean it means that here this revenue reserve is also a free reserve like general reserve revenue reserve, same thing so we have a balance of rupees 5 lakh we can utilize this 5 lakh rupees to transfer to CRR account. But the clue is given here that we have to maintain a balance of rupees 2 lakh in revenue reserve account. What does it mean? If we have to maintain a balance of rupees 2 lakh in revenue reserve account, it means that we can utilize only up to rupees 3 lakh rupees in revenue reserve. How much balance we have in revenue reserve? We have balance of rupees 5 lakh but we have to maintain a balance of rupees 2 lakh it means that the maximum that we can utilize is how much 3 lakh rupees in revenue reserve account okay now next is later the company issue 3 fully later the company issue 3 fully paid equity shares of rupees 20 each by way of what bonus shares for every 15 equity shares held by the equity shareholder now we'll make a working note on it don't worry we'll make a working note on it that how many number of bonus shares they are issuing how many total number of equity the company has total number of equity share the company has is 2 lakh 50 thousand the company has 2 lakh 50 thousand is total number of equity shares how much they have 2 lakh 50 thousand equity shares they have out of 2 lakh 50 uh, thousand they have done the buyback they have done the buyback of 62,500 shares. They have done the buyback of 62,500. How much shares they have now after buyback? 2 lakh 50 minus 62,500. They have 1 lakh 87,500 shares. How many shares they have? 1 lakh 87,500. And they are for every 15 shares. For every 15 shares, they are giving. For every 15 shares, they are giving. 3 as bonus shares so for every 15 shares they are giving 3 as what bonus shares so every 15 shares they are giving 3 as bonus shares so how many shares they are giving as bonus 187500 
डिवाइडेड बाय 15 मल्टीप्लाई बाय 3 दैट्स कम 37500 शेयर्स दे आर गिविंग एज बोनस यू डोंट हैव टू वरी विल मेक ऑल दिस वर्किंग आई एम जस्ट एक्सप्लेनिंग यू हियर ओके सो दे आस्क अस टू यू आर रिक्वायर्ड टू पास द नेसेसरी जर्नल एंट्रीज सो विल पास जर्नल एंट्रीज एंड वी हैव टू प्रिपेयर व्हाट बैलेंस शीट आफ्टर बायबैक सो आफ्टर बायबैक वी हैव टू प्रिपेयर बैलेंस शीट so first we'll pass general entries but before the buyback we will pass entries for issue of debenture sale of investment why sir before the buyback why we are passing here entry for issue of shares and uh, issue of debenture and sale of investment why we are selling this investment why we are issuing debenture why we are issuing shares in the market to arrange the fund to arrange the fund at, that may require at the time of buyback so before the buyback we will pass entry for issue of debenture issue of shares and sale of investment and then we will pass entry for buyback of shares and then later on we will pass entry for issue of bonus shares okay now write down here question number 2 write down here question number 2 page number page number is 8 page number is 8 so write down question number 2 page number 8 Journal entries, journal entries in the books of, in the books of X Limited, journal entries in the books of X Limited and it may, it will require one and half page around, around one and half page. So draw this for one and half page, okay, draw this for one and half page. Okay, draw this for one and a half page. Okay. So here, amount, amount. Okay, draw this for one and a half page. Okay. The date is not given. So we can give serial number one, two, three, four like that. Okay. Okay, so one by one. So first we will pass general entry for issue of debenture. How many debentures we are issuing and don't worry about this calculation and out of profit and all. We will explain, we will make a working note on it, don't worry. Okay, one by one. So here we are issuing 3000 debentures, 14% debenture of rupees 100 at a premium of 20. It means the face value of debenture is rupees 100 and we are issuing at 20%, we are issuing at 20% premium. It means that we are issuing at rupees 120. So when we issue debenture, we receive amount. So bank account debit, bank account debit. So 3000 debentures, 3000 debentures, we are, how much we are receiving? 120 rupees. So 3000 debenture multiply by 120 that's come 360000 that's come 360000 okay we have issued debenture remember one remember in capital whenever we issue shares the capital will always be recorded at face value similar for debenture as well whenever we issue debenture debenture will always be recorded at face value it will always be recorded at face value only okay so issue of debenture 14% debenture account, debenture account, so 3000 debentures, how much is the face value of debenture, 100, so 3000 multiply by 100, that is 3 lakhs, 2, securities, the premium amount will go in securities premium account, so securities premium account, so 3000 debentures, 3000 debentures multiply by rupees 20, rupees 20 is premium, okay. So we are not giving premium, when we give premium that is, there is a difference here. Here this premium is, this premium is, just one minute, this premium is premium on buyback, we are giving this premium. 
as here this premium i am writing this is not we are giving we are receiving we are this is a premium at the time of issue of our debentures that is 60000 60000 being being 14% debentures 14% debentures issued at 20% premium 20% premium okay this is entry for the entry for issue of debenture entry of just for your reference i am writing in trading okay entry for issue of debenture now they have also issued preference share now we'll pass entry issue of preference shares issue of preference shares issue of preference shares okay so how many shares we are issuing we are issuing 2500 we are issuing 2500 10% preference shares of rupees 2500 10% preference share of rupees 100 each so write down here bank account second entry bank account debit on issue of shares we will receive amount we will receive amount 2500 preference 2500 preference shares okay, we are issuing at what price 100 preference shares at what price rupees 100 so 2500 multiplied by 100 that's come 2 lakh 50000 that's come 2 lakh 50000 2 we are we are, we are issuing shares increase in capital credit so to 10 percent preference share capital account 10 percent preference share capital account 2 lakh 50000 2 lakh 50000 so bank account debit 2 lakh 50000 to 10 percent preference share capital account being 10 percent Preference shares issued at par. At par means we have issued at face value. We have issued at face value. Now we have passed entry for issue of preference shares. Okay. Now we have also sell the investment there. We have also sell the investment there. Investment of rupees 1 lakh. We have sell it rupees 1 lakh 50. It means there is a profit of rupees how much? 50,000. So write down third entry. Here we are passing entry for sale of investment. We are passing entry for sale of investment. We are passing entry for sale of investment. So write down here. Write down here entry number three. That is bank account debit. Bank account debit to investment account so we are selling at rupees 1 lakh 50 thousand so we how much we will receive we will receive 1 lakh 50 thousand but what is the cost of investment the investment is of rupees 1 lakh so to investment account 1 lakh rupees and there is a profit of rupees how much 50 thousand so to profit and loss account profit and loss account that is profit you can write down in bracket profit on sale of investment profit on sale of investment how much profit we have 50000 so here being 10% sorry not preference share being being investment sold on profit we have sell the investment on profit so we have passed entry for issue of debenture issue of preferences and sale of investment now we will pass entry for buyback so here you can write it down buyback of shares you know that when we do buyback when we do buyback first we have to purchase the shares from market or from existing shareholders or from employee whatever First, we have to purchase it. So, how many number of shares we are purchasing? 62,500. How we have calculated 62,500? Total number of shares is how much? Total number of shares is how much? 2,50,000. 2,50,000. 2, 
So we are doing buyback 25% only. So two lakh, we'll make a working note on it. Don't worry. Two lakh fifty thousand multiply by twenty five percent. That's come sixty two thousand five hundred shares. How many shares? Sixty two thousand five hundred shares. So here, equity share buyback account debit. Equity share buyback account debit. Equity share buyback account debit. Sixty two thousand five hundred shares. Multiply by rupees thirty six. Why thirty six? Because we are purchasing this share at rupees thirty six. How we will make a working note. You can write down in bracket working note number one. Write down in bracket working note number one. We will make a working note on it. Don't worry. So sixty two thousand five hundred shares we are purchasing for buyback at what price? Thirty six. The market price is thirty, and we are giving them twenty percent more than the market price. So we are purchasing at rupees thirty six. So equity share buyback account debit sixty two thousand five hundred multiplied by thirty six. That's come twenty two lakh fifty thousand. That's come twenty two lakh fifty thousand to bank account. To bank account we are we are paying how much twenty two lakh fifty thousand. So we are paying them. Just give me one minute. How much we are? How much we are giving them? Twenty two, twenty two lakh fifty thousand. We are giving them. Okay. So write down here. Being buyback of being buyback of sixty two thousand five hundred equity shares, equity shares of rupees sixty one of ah sixty two thousand five hundred share of rupees. Twenty per share. The price is twenty face value. At of rupees twenty at the rate of rupees thirty six per share. Thirty six per share. So we don't record here premium on buyback. First we have to purchase it. At the time of cancellation, the face value we will adjust in share capital account and the premium which we are paying uh, at the time of purchase that is premium on buyback. That we'll write it down separately. Okay, so we but we have purchased at thirty six. We'll record whole thirty six year equity share buyback account. Okay, so here now next entry. Now we have purchased it. Now we'll cancel it. When we'll do the cancellation, capital will go down. Capital will go down. Decrease in capital debit. So write down here next entry. Now entry number this entry number four. Now pass entry number fifth. Entry number fifth. Write down here. Write down here. Decrease in capital. Now we are doing cancellation of share. Decrease in capital debit. So equity share capital account debit. Equity share capital account debit. How many is sixty two thousand five hundred shares? And the face value is rupees twenty. Face value is rupees twenty. So sixty two thousand five hundred multiply by twenty. That's come twelve lakh fifty thousand. Why we have multiplied by twenty? Remember one thing: we always record capital at face value. The face value is rupees twenty, but we are paying thirty six. What about the sixty? That is premium on buyback. So write down here: premium on buyback. Premium on buyback account debit. Sixty-two thousand five hundred shares multiplied by sixteen. Sixty-two thousand five hundred shares multiplied by sixteen. That's come how much? Ten lakh rupees. That how much? Ten lakh. Two. You have purchased your shares, so you have debited here equity share buyback account. You have debited here equity share buyback account. Now we'll cancel it. So two equity share buyback account. That account will get closed. So to equity share, buyback account. To equity share buyback account, how much it is? Twenty two lakh fifty thousand. Twenty two lakh how much? Fifty thousand. So write down here. Being cancellation. Being cancellation of shares. Bought back being cancellation of shares bought back. 
Now, how much premium that we have paid at the time of buyback? The premium on buyback that we have paid at the time of buyback is how much premium on buyback is how much? This 10 lakh rupees. So we will write it off against security premium. Okay, we can write it off against security premium. So whether we have balance of rupees 10 lakh. So you can see here in balance sheet it is given that we have balance of in securities premium we have balance of rupees how much? 12 lakh rupees. So we have balance of rupees how much? 12 lakh rupees we have balance. Okay. Now we have balance. So how much we want to write it off against securities premium? We want to write it off against uh, uh, securities premium only 10 lakh rupees. That is premium on buyback is 10 lakh. So remember one thing, just one, one minute, just give me one minute. Okay, one important thing here, okay, that is premium here. What happened here? This sec securities premium account, we can write off, uh, we can write it off premium on buyback against securities premium PNL general reserve. Okay, we can write it off against that. So how much premium on buyback we have? Premium on buyback we have. How much premium on buyback we have? We have. 10 lakh that we want to write it off. But how much balance they have? They have a balance of, they have in securities premium, they have enough balance. They have, I think, how much balance they have? 12 lakh something they have. So don't worry, we can write it off against securities premium account. Okay, so write down this next entry. Entry number 6. Entry number 6. So here, securities premium account, securities premium account debit securities premium account debit how much it is 10 lakh rupees so here you have debited security premium on buyback to cancel it will credit it to premium on premium on buyback account how much it is premium on buyback is 10 lakh so you have debited in your fifth entry and we have credited here. So that is cancelled. Premium on buyback gets cancelled. Okay. So here write down being being premium on buyback premium on buyback adjusted against premium on buyback adjusted against Securities premium account adjusted against securities premium account. So premium on buyback adjusted against securities premium account. Now very important. Now here you can see that we have passed entry for uh, purchase of buyback. You have passed entry here. We have passed we have passed entry for purchase of yes purchase of buyback. Equation, then we have to do the cancellation, this entry cancellation, and then we have passed entry for adjustment of premium on buyback. Now, what happened here in this question? There is the issue of shares. So we have passed entry for issue of shares. We have issue shares at uh, par only. So we have passed entry bank account debit to preferential capital. Now, very important thing. What happened? Now we have to do the there are some portion of buyback which is out of profit. How I am saying that it is out of profit, it can be 100% out of fresh issue of shares, it can be 100% out of profit and the buyback can be a combination of both. So buyback can be a combination of both, here it is a combination of both. But how can I say that it is a combination of both? If you observe here, if you observe here, how much capital we have increased the capital, how much capital we have increased. Here if you see, we have increased capital we have increased the preferential capital we have increased the capital by rupees 2 lakh 50 so this is increase in capital this is increase in capital this is increase in capital but here at the time of buyback i have debited equity share capital account so this is decrease in capital this is decrease in capital if the capital is decreasing by rupees 12 lakh 50 thousand and it is increasing by rupees just 2 lakh 50 thousand. I know that we are cancelling equity and we are increasing preference capital because we are issuing preference capital. That's okay. That is allowed by companies act. So we are decreasing capital by rupees 12 lakh 50 and we are increasing capital by rupees 2 lakh 50. It means there is a difference of rupees 10 lakh. 
that tan lakh is out of profit that's why it is a combination of both if you have also increased the capital by rupees 12 lakh 50 then it's okay then it is out of fresh issue of share but it is not completely out of fresh issue of share it can be more for example here suppose decrease in capital by rupees 12 lakh 50 and increase in capital by rupees just just for your revision purpose i am writing just for a concept this one if i say that decrease in capital when there is a decrease in capital let me write here at the time just for a reference i am writing buyback at the time of buyback there is a decrease in capital there is a decrease in capital there is a decrease in capital okay so what happened if there is a decrease in capital suppose is of rupees 10 lakh suppose is of rupees 10 lakh here how much it is let's take the same figure suppose is of rupees 12 lakh 50 thousand and issue of shares issue of share how much we have, at the time issue of share there is an increase in capital so here we have increased the capital by rupees 2 lakh 50 thousand it means that how much is out of profit out of profit means how much is out of crr it is 10 lakh we'll make a working note on it don't worry now i'm just for your understanding power i'm changing the situation here Suppose the buyback for situation, suppose the buyback is of rupees 12 lakh 50 thousand. Same. But we have also issued the capital uh, new shares in the market 12 lakh 50. How much will be the out of profit? How much will be out of profit? Zero na? because we have issued the same amount of capital in the market. Third, if the suppose the, it is 12 lakh 50 thousand, how much is uh, decrease in buyback 12 lakh, decrease in capital 12 lakh 50. But if you have not issued any shares in the market, so complete 12 lakh 50 thousand will be out of profit different situation i am creating it 12 lakh 50 completely will be out of profit all of you understand it may also happen that we have done the buyback by rupees phase is not there suppose we have done the buyback decrease in capital 12 lakh 50 and if you have issue the shares in the market suppose of 20 lakh is it okay yes more we can do no problem you have done the buyback decrease in capital Increase in capital may be more than 12 lakh. That's not the issue. That increase in capital should not be less than 12 lakh 50 here. Increase in capital should not be less than 12 lakh. If it is less than 12 lakh 50, then the remaining should be out of profit. So here you can see 12 lakh 50 is the increase, but decrease 2 lakh 50. So out of profit will be 10 lakh here. Here you have decreased the capital by rupees 12 lakh 50, but you have in suppose I'm changing the situation. But suppose if you have increased the capital by 12 lakh 50, there's no need to transfer to there's no CRR. If there is a decrease in capital by rupees 12 lakh, there is no increase in capital. The complete 12 lakh will be out of profit 12 lakh 50. Here there is a decrease in capital by like 12 lakh 50 and there is increase in capital by like rupees 2 lakh. In that case also there is no need to, it can be more than 12 lakh 50. No problem in it. No, if it is lower than 12 lakh 50, in that case we have to transfer to CR. Because that portion represent is buyback of shares out of, out of profit. You understand this point? So how much capital we have decreased here? We have decreased the capital. Different situation. Different situations. See, it is written here only for understanding purpose. Okay, only for under, understanding purpose. You understand this point? Now here, so we have in the question we are following how much we have decreased the capital. We have decreased the capital by rupees 12 lakh 50 and we have increased the capital by rupees 2 lakh 50. So, remaining it means out of profit. We'll make a working note on it. Don't worry. Now, we have to transfer here question. This question number, the situation which is given in question number 2 is this, this situation. Okay. Now, we have to transfer 10 lakh rupees to which account? We have to transfer 10 lakh rupees to CRR account. So, we have transferred 10 lakh, we have to transfer 10 lakh rupees to CRR account. So, which reserve we can utilize? Understand this point. Very important now. Here you can see we have to transfer to CRR. How much we will transfer to CRR? We will transfer to CRR 10 lakh rupees. 10 lakh rupees will transfer to. So can we utilize general reserve? Yes. Can we utilize profit and loss account? Yes. Can we utilize securities premium? The answer is yes. But I have observed that institute, but I have observed that ICAI not give preference to securities premium account when they transfer to CRR account. So we can utilize this we can utilize this securities premium account but we will give them reference at the end what what does it mean 
First, we will adjust against general reserve or you can call it revenue reserve or profit and loss account surplus balance. If there is no sufficient balance in this reserve, then only we will utilize securities premium account because same is done by ICA also. In that case only, we will utilize securities premium. Not understand this way. How much we need to transfer to securities premium account? Sorry, how much we need to transfer to capital redemption reserve account? We need to transfer to capital redemption reserve account is 10 lakh rupees. How much balance we have in? How much balance we have in? How much balance we have in revenue reserve? So we have balance in revenue reserve 5 lakh, but there is one problem. What's the problem here? The problem is that it is mentioned in question that we have to maintain a balance of rupees 2 lakh in securities premium in revenue reserve. So, if we have to maintain a balance of rupees 2 lakh, how much I can utilize it? I can utilize how much? I can utilize 3 lakh rupees out of revenue reserve. But how much total amount required to transfer to CRR account? 10 lakh rupees. 10 lakh rupees. Okay. So, 3 lakh I will utilize from 3 lakhs I will utilize from revenue reserve. What about the remaining, remaining 7 lakh I will utilize from profit and loss account surplus balance. So, how much balance we have, uh, how much, we have enough balance in profit and loss account surplus balance. We have 20 lakh rupees. How much required to utilize from profit and loss account is 7 lakh. So, this is how we are going to utilize 3 lakh from revenue reserve and profit and loss account 7 lakh. Some of you may say that sir, is it possible that um, we utilize complete 10 lakh rupees from this profit and loss account surplus balance because we have enough balance in profit and loss account surplus balance. Yes, we can do that. But here in this question, I don't suggest you, I don't suggest you to utilize complete 10 lakh from profit and loss account. The reason is that, the reason is that it is mentioned in question that, it is mentioned in question that we have to maintain a balance of rupees 2 lakh. We have to maintain a balance of rupees 2 lakh in revenue reserve indirectly they are giving us the clue to utilize remaining 3 lakh rupees so we have to utilize 3 lakh because they are giving us the clue to maintain a balance of 2 lakh it means utilize 3 lakh that's why i am utilizing here 3 lakh from revenue reserve and remaining 7 lakh from profit and loss account so there is if there is insufficient because total fund that required to transfer to crr account is 10 lakh rupees so we have enough balance in revenue reserve, we have enough balance in profit and loss account, I will utilize it first. If there is insufficient balance in it, then I will utilize securities premium account. Then I will utilize securities premium account. Okay. So, write down here, write down here, point number seven, point num entry number seven, revenue reserve account, revenue reserve account debit, how much it is? 3 lakhs then profit and loss account debit so total balance in uh, total balance CR uh, it is required to transfer in CR is 10 lakh out of 10 lakh 3 lakhs we are transferring from revenue reserve it means 7 lakh we are transferring from profit and loss account to capital redemption to capital redemption a reserve account how much it is capital redemption reserve account how much it is 10 lakh and we'll make a working note or working note number two whatever working note number one that will make for uh, that the amount of that number of shares we are doing by by working note number one on it the working note two on the amount of share how we have calculated this 10 lakh rupees okay so here being being Premium being amount amount equal to face value beam amount equal to face value of buyback being amount equal to face value of buyback buyback of buyback out of profit buyback out of profit buy back out of profit buy back out of profit transferred to capital redemption 
रिजर्व अकाउंट रिजर्व अकाउंट एस पर लॉ एस पर लॉ डन ओके सो वी हैव पास एंट्रीज फॉर वी हैव पास एंट्रीज फॉर दिस बाय बैक आल्सो वी हैव पास एंट्री फॉर इश्यू ऑफ डिपेंचर इश्यू ऑफ प्रेफरेंशियल सेल ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट मेंटेन ऑफ लास्ट वन नाउ वी हैव टू इश्यू वी आर इश्यू बोनस शेयर सो हाउ मेनी शेयर वी हैव वी हैव टोटल नंबर ऑफ शेयर वी हैव टू लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड Out of two lakh fifty thousand, we have done the buyback of sixty two thousand five hundred. How much we have now? One lakh eighty seven thousand five hundred. For every fifteen shares, we are giving them how much? We are giving them three as bonus shares. So we are giving total thirty seven thousand five hundred. We are giving them as what bonus? We will make a working note on it. So write down here. Now we are passing entry for bonus shares. Now we are passing entry for bonus issue. So write down here. Write down here. So when we say I am issuing bonus share, understand this point. When we say I am issuing bonus share, that we know, you know that we issue at free of cost. So I cannot pass entry bank account debit to equity share capital. I cannot pass entry bank account debit to equity share capital. Why? Because I am not going to receive any amount on issue of bonus share. So which account should be debited here? So we have already discussed about. The entries for bonus issue as well. So, what entry we pass for bonus issue? So, we have to utilize some reserve. So, we can utilize CRR account, and you know that capital redemption reserve account, which we create at the time of buyback, and this CRR account can be utilized only and only for one purpose only, and that is for issue of bonus shares. So, we cannot debit to bank account there. so i will debit to i will debit to here which account i will be debited here i will debit to crr account to which account i will debit here i will debit to crr account here so crr account will be debited here crr account will be debited okay so here we can also utilize general reserve we can also also utilize the surplus balance of profit and loss account but you know that if which first of all which reserve should be which reserve should be utilized first in my opinion It first we give should give reference to CRR account, but why, sir? Because CRR account is the most restricted reserve. It can be utilized only and only for the purpose of. It can be utilized only and only for the purpose of issue of bonus share. Now, if we are issuing bonus share, we get the chance to utilize this CRR account. So why should not utilize this CRR account? We should first utilize CRR account. How much balance we have in CRR account? If you see here in question, if you see here in question, okay, but I think we have here we have credited CRR account by rupees ten lakh. We have ten lakh rupees in CRR account, so we can utilize how much bonus shares we are issuing? Thirty-seven thousand five hundred multiplied by twenty is the face value. The amount comes seven lakh. We don't worry. We'll make a working note on it. Seven lakh fifty thousand is the amount. So seven lakh fifty thousand is the amount which we require for the bonus issue. So, how much balance we have in CRR? We have balance of rupees ten lakh in CRR. So we can utilize CRR account. If insufficient balance in CRR, then you can utilize other reserve also. And there is no restriction that you have to utilize CRR only. We can utilize other reserve, other free reserve. I mean to say, we can utilize that. But if we have CRR, in my opinion, first preference should be given to CRR. Because it is the most restricted reserve. Because CRR can be utilized only and only for one purpose. That is what for the purpose of issue of bonus shares. Okay, so let's utilize CRR account. So here pass general entry. Capital redemption reserve account debit entry number eight. Capital redemption. Capital redemption reserve account debit thirty seven thousand five hundred. Thirty. How we have calculated thirty seven thousand five hundred? We'll make a working note on it. Thirty seven thousand five hundred shares and the sh share is of rupees twenty. We have done buyback at thirty six. We are issuing bonus share at rupees twenty only. Okay. So we'll make a working note number three on it. So it's come thirty seven thousand five hundred multiplied by twenty. That's come seven lakh fifty thousand. That's come seven lakh fifty thousand. Two. Bonus to shareholder account. Bonus to we are liable to pay to shareholder. We call it bonus to share. Liable to pay it means it is liability increase in liability, increase in liability to bonus to shareholder account. Bonus to 
shareholder account that is 750000 how much it is 750000 so write down here being being utilization utilization of capital redemption reserve account reserve account to issue 37500 bonus share bonus share okay now mr but we have you have passed entry here that crr to equity share capital don't worry the net effect will be crr to net effect will be crr to equity share capital account only net effect will be same i have credited here bonus to shareholder account i have credited here bonus to shareholder account now we have to cancel it now we have to bonus to uh, this shareholder account we are li i am liable to pay now i am discharging liability i am giving them shares so bonus to shareholder account share bonus to shareholder account how much it is 7 lakh 50000 so bonus to shareholder account 7 lakh 50000 two we are issuing them we are issuing them shares increase in capital credit so two equity share capital account to equity share capital account 7 lakh 50000 7 lakh 50000 so being being issue of issue of three bonus shares for every for every 15 shares held 15 shares held okay so this all about the journal entries this all about if you give, see the net effect here so we have debited capital redemption reserve account and we have credited equity share capital account net effect is crr to equity share because we have cancelled it but first we have to pass due entry due means i am to be liable to pay and then we have discharged the liability okay now we have to prepare working note There are three working notes. Write down the three working notes. Write down those three working notes. Okay. Write down working note now. Okay, working note number one. Working note number one on number of. buy back number of buy back of share so how much is the share capital number of buy back of share understand this how much number of buy back of share first write it down how many total number of shares the company has before buy back write down here total number of shares so their total capital is 50 lakhs and face value of one share is rupees 20 so 50 lakhs divided by 20 that's come 2 lakh 50000 shares this is total number of share it is okay here now 25% buy back so how 25% buy back so write down here number of buy back share the 25% buy back how many number of shares buy back it is 2 lakh 50000 shares multiply by 25% that's come 62500 62500 shares okay okay now second is how much is out of profit how much is out of profit so write down here how much is out of profit second buy back out of profit buy back out of profit that is amount to be transferred to transferred to crr account so write down here face value of buy back of shares face value of buy back of shares 
we are doing buyback of 62,500 shares and the face value is 20. Why have I written face value? Whenever I talk about the decrease in capital, increase in capital, we always talk about face value only because we record capital at face value only. Okay, that's why face value, we've used out face value. So 62,500 multiplied by 20, that's come 12,50,000 less out of issue of shares, out of out of issue of shares out of issue of shares okay remember face value always remember out of issue let me write it excluding premium why excluding premium account why excluding premium account because whenever i say decrease in capital capital always be recorded at face value increase face value decrease always capital increase and decrease by face value only because we record capital always at face value so here you have issued 2500 shares and face value uh, obviously we i think you have issue already at face value only okay you have issue also at face value 100 okay so 100 100 so how much it is 2 lakh 50000 so it means that remaining 10 lakh even though for the understanding purpose right? Even though if you issued at premium, suppose you have issued at rupees, share is of rupees 1, share is of rupees 100, if you have issued at 105, so that 5 will not be considered when I will say capital will be replaced by capital. Why? Remember, whenever you do this calculation, just write it down face value. Why? Because we record capital at face value only. So when you do the cancellation, it will be at face value only. When we increase the capital, it will be at face value only. Okay. So here, out of remaining will be out of profit. So out of profit. Out of profit. How much it is? 10 lakh. Okay. How much it is? 10 lakh. Okay. <clears throat> and some of you may say, we have also issued a debenture. No, no. You have issued the debenture. That is not the replacement of capital with capital. You have issued a debenture. You can issue debenture. No problem in it. But when I say this capital increase in capital, decrease in capital. But issue of debenture, this is sorry, decrease in capital and this is increase in capital. When you buy back, decrease. When you issue, increase. Okay. But here, remember, when you issue the debenture, you are not issuing capital. That is not capital. Okay. So, here, when you do the calculation, is how much is out of profit, we will not consider, it, we will consider only 2,50,000. We will not consider that issue of debenture to calculate the amount of how much is out of profit. That is a balancing amount here. So, working note number 3. Number of bonus shares, bonus shares to be issued. So total number of shares we have two lakh fifty thousand shares minus sixty two thousand five hundred shares divided by divided by fifteen multiply by three. How much it is 2,50,000 minus 60 to 500 divided by 15 multiplied by 3. That is 37,500 shares. 37,500 shares. How much it is? 37,500 shares. Okay, that is this 37,500 is bonus shares. Okay, 37,500. How it is bonus shares? Okay. Then now uh, it is also asking question to prepare the balance sheet, but that will do. In next session okay next session we will do it for today's homework today you have homework that is question number question number one of practice question okay only one question today question number one of practice question is homework so today's homework today's homework practice question daily i will give you homework and where you will find the solution of it? The Google Drive link provided to you. Okay. Where you will see the solution of this practice question. So first solve this practice question. Very simple question. Balance sheet notes account is given. Very simple here. That 20% buyback here. And you are they are doing buyback at rupees 15 per share. And there is sale of investment of rupees 30. Oh, okay. Okay. No, no. One new thing is there. And they are selling the investment of rupees 30 lakh. At rupees, how much? 25 lakh. You just have to pass general end. It means there is a loss here. Let me explain you. So, bank account will be debited. 
बैंक अकाउंट विल बी डेबिटेड बाय रुपीज हाउ मच ट्वेंटी फाइव लैक्स ओके ट्वेंटी फाइव लैक्स इट इज ट्वेंटी फाइव लैक्स देन प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट विल बी डेबिटेड इट इज लॉस लॉस विल बी डेबिटेड लैक्स फाइव लैक्स टू वॉट इज दिस इन्वेस्टमेंट अकाउंट टू इन्वेस्टमेंट अकाउंट थर्टी लैक्स रिमेंबर दैट okay so no it is a loss it is a out of 30 of receipt just 25 this will be the entry so this will be entry okay so bank account debit profit and loss account debit to investment account just give me one minute so here here you can see the solution the same solution you will find okay so bank account debit rupees in 1000 it is a okay so 2000 find it loss is 500 and investment and Do the then entry for buyback, then cancellation of buyback. You have adjusted the premium on buyback against security premium, and you have transferred to CRR. So remember one thing: only when we call it that it is out of issue of shares when it is mentioned in question. If it is not mentioned in question, that is out of fresh issue of share, we'll always call it it is out of profit. And it may be out of hundred percent out of fresh issue of shares. It may be out of hundred percent out of profit. and it may be combination of both but when we call it at sum is out of issue of shares or 100% out of issue of shares when it is mentioned in question otherwise it is always be out of profit only okay so you have question number 1 homework and balance sheet will prepare in next session because it will take around half an hour so balance sheet i will prepare in next session that is for that is for today and please don't forget to solve the homework three thing is i am expecting from you first daily watch one lecture regular monday to friday you can watch saturday you can take a rest you can, or you can do the revision and every sunday you have to appear for in test okay now first attend regular class second homework second homework and third test these three thing i am expecting from class regular the regular class practice uh, homework do the homework properly and third one is the test every sunday you have to give test so the test paper also share there in google drive link okay so that is for today we'll meet tomorrow okay and then we'll start from the balance sheet of this question i will take care all of you bye bye